Hello, I'm Tinred432, and welcome to my next um, part in Mega Man Zero. So, today we're going to be taking on the Rescue Colbar mission. So, Colbar, he's this reploid, and um, he thinks he's found the enemy base, but we lost contact with him. So, we gotta go check on him. Um, I don't think these Resistance members can take care of themselves. But that's just me thinking. So let's go save this dude. So we're back at the highway stage. And, um... <laughs> or the railroads area. Subway. Whatever you want to call it. It looks a little different now. Now we destroyed the train that was on it. Okay, that doesn't really make sense. But, let's just continue on dangerous. Bottomless pits all of a sudden. Pink, pink little spiky things. Seen them before. Seen the turtle dudes before. Not those turtle dudes. Oh. <laughs> um. And then we'll just continue on. Take off these little um, one-eyed Mega Mans. I'll just call them that for the rest of the series. Uh, one-eyed Mega Mans. Mega, Mega Mans. Oh well. I, I almost fell off there. Um, a little too close there. Take out the Mega Man dudes off the one eyed Mega Mans off their floaty thing. And then jump on it. And then you'll be good to go. Flying thing, whatever. But then there's a Cyber Elf down there. Sometimes Cyber Elves can be in impossible places to reach. But thankfully, they do float closer to you very, very slowly. And I should get it now. Okay, there we go. Almost fell off the ledge though. But we're already here. Lots of um, resistance member bodies. Doesn't look that good. Dude, get out of there. Run. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Thank goodness. I'm I'm surprised that he's still alive, judging the amount of time it took. Okay. Here's Harpy. Yep, Harpy. One of the four guardians. He's just saying, I gotta fight you, cause you is zero, and my master is X. But anyway, I actually died right here, um, if you saw any bit of a frame skip, which you probably didn't cause my editing skills, but uh, <laughs> this is actually my second attempt of this fight, but uh, the fight is pretty basic if you know what you're doing. So just do this, and we'll just keep doing the same thing forever. But I missed, so. Is he does this little thing there. Okay, all you have to worry about is this. Just, if you keep charging your shot, you should be fine. And then shooting him. He'll just keep doing the same attack over and over and over. Until you defeat him, of course. And when I defeat him, of course, he wants me to stay alive so I can fight him again. Like all the other guardians. Although, they do know that only one of them can get to kill me. Alright, thanks to us, the Culver was saved. Thanks to us, everything has happened. At least in the Resistance days. <clears throat> but I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a short break. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, now we're going to be taking on a second mission today, because that mission went by way too quickly. So let's do this. Occupy the factory mission? Alright. So the resistance members are running out of energy sources, and now they want me to steal from the rich and give to the poor. By going to the factory and shutting down the- shutting it- well, not exactly shutting it down, but- I'll just stealing it, pretty much, yeah, from the Neo Arcadians and the guards. Just shoot this thing, shoot that thing, jump, shoot. Pretty simple. Okay, so you have a choice here to either go straight or go up this way. I went up this way because I'm 
Um, I'm bad at the L the other route. Route, route, whatever. And, um, so if you go that way, I'll show you what it's like down there in a minute. Well, not the whole experience, but, uh, there'll be the security things and a little shutter at the end that will close if you get, start to close if you get caught. So it's more like a stealthier section. Although, this way is pretty self stealthy, going through the air vents. We got this cyber off here. And here we are. But first I'm going to show you um, one of those little camera areas. Looks like that, if you ever get caught. Then this shutter right here will close. Yeah, so you don't want to get caught. There's little E-crystals down here. You're going to want to grab those. It's hard, they're hard to find. But they don't re they're not really worth much alone, just those, even those big packs. But let's continue on to the next part. These wood, wood carrying dudes, robots, whatever. I'm gonna carry you around. I'm not sure what they're actually used for in the factory. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I have an idea. Um, so that cyber elf up there in the top, you might have seen. I'm not gonna grab it yet, because, um, first off, it's pretty dangerous, because you might fall, because from that angle, you cannot see the wood, the wood-carrying robots, and, uh, then it's hard to land safely, but then I can get it in a later mission where I have to go up there. Okay, so for these electric shocking things, you can just go through them, no, pr no problem, but you can also destroy slash them like I did to one of them but I missed that one and they're pretty simple just dash across them got caught on accident there we go and this is pretty much the end of the level you just gotta go up this ladder right here and then you'll be good to go a little HP thing I don't know where that came from but it's there Actually, I might have glitched the game. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. But anyway, here's the boss. It looks like a big robotic spider. Which it pretty much is. Well, now that I think of it, how is it floating? You know what? Never mind. I'll save the science for Capcom. So, you can, can potentially destroy the arms. But, um... If all the arms are gone, it'll have to get the arms back before you can attack it again. Because as you can see, it its eyes closed. Its eyes closed. Um, but if you destroy both arms at once, then it cannot attack you and it'll move to the next set of arms. If that set of arms is missing, then it keeps going. But fortunately, it does get its arms back, although it's not that fortunate. So yeah, I accidentally destroyed both the red arms. I don't know how or why. Maybe they just happen to be closer. I didn't see. But, see, it's, um, one of the red arms is back. It's a pretty sim fairly simple boss. A fully charged saber shot from the electric chip. It does good damage. And you <laughs> don't want to get frozen like I did just there. Alright, we're almost there. Just a couple more hits should do it. Alright, this should do it. Uh, it is easier with one arm gone. Just don't remember not to destroy both arms. That's just coming from me. That's all I know. I don't know the official patterns or anything. And about this white screen, sorry, I clicked out of the emulator while I was recording, and the emulator paused. Because, um, you know, it, it pauses when you're not, um, complete clicked on it. But you don't really, you have to grab this, um, fire chip right here. Flame chip. And now we have all three chips. And we have the factory. And you can go there later, which I'm gonna do. Like, not on camera. And you can get a lot of E-crystals. So that's nice. But, uh, thank you for watching. As always, my name is 109432. And, uh, like, subscribe, peace, and sheep. Have a good day.